Hi, this is your math prof, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to do some story problems. Here we go. You invested a whole bunch of money, 7000 in two accounts. Now, what that means is you've got this $7,000 there. Got a, a, maybe it's in a bowl. And you're going to split it apart into two accounts. You're going to go to A bank and you're going to go to B bank. If I could draw, I'd draw bank buildings. And you're going to put some of your $7,000 in here and some of your $1,000 in here. And you're not going to keep any. It's all going to go in either bank A or in bank B. And you cannot assume you're going to put equal amounts, like $3,500 in each bank. It's probably not equal amounts, OK? So this bank, however much money you put in the bank, is going to pay you 3% on that money. That's their way of paying you to use your money, all right? And this bank over here is going to pay 4% to use your money. So you say, hmm, hmm, I'm going to split up my money, but we don't have any idea how much, and you want to find out what would be the best way for you. So we are going to let you put X dollars in here and Y dollars in here with the understanding that X plus Y is going to equal $7,000. Now, what are we told? We're told that at the end of the year, uh, your money in here, which earned 3%, plus your money in here, which earned 4%, is going to be worth $240, all right, the total interest earned. So um, what that means is 3% of this X dollars is going to be earned here, and 4% of this Y dollars is going to be earned here. How is it earned? The bank is paying you, all right? So bank A is going to pay you 3% as a decimal, 3% of this X dollars. And B Bank is going to pay you 4% as a decimal on your Y dollars. So 4% of the Y dollars is going to be a little extra treat, maybe for Christmas or something like that, or maybe somebody's birthday. All right, so how much does that interest and that interest add up to? Well, our problem says $240. So that gives us our second equation, 03x, 0.03x plus 0.04y is going to equal $240. Now, you can solve this problem any way you like. You can solve it by substitution, or you can solve it by elimination. It all depends on what you want to do. But something that will make life much easier for you is if you multiply this entire equation by 100, because that will move your decimal point over two places, two zeros, two places. All right, so let's go ahead and change this to x plus y equals 7,000. And now 100 times 0 0.03 will be 3x. And 100 times 0 0.04y is going to be 4y. And 100 times 240 is going to be a big number. It's going to be 240 and an additional two zeros. So now let's write this more neatly down here. We're going to have 3x plus 4y equals 24,000. And x plus y equals 7,000. What do you want to do here? 
why don't we use elimination and multiply the entire second equation by negative 3 so we can eliminate the x's first. So I'll have 3x plus 4y equals 24,000 and negative 3x minus 3y will equal negative 20, yeah, 21,000. All right, let's add these two equations together. 4y minus 3y is 1y, and 24,000 minus 21,000 is 3,000. So now we know. You put 3,000 in this account, and 4,000 in this account. That's not the way I would have done it, but it sure looks like that's the way uh, you decided to work it out for whatever reason. Now let's check the answers. Okay, let's check it to see if x really does equal 4,000 and y really does equal 3,000. All right, here's our problem. Let's move it over here. All right, how much was invested at 3%? I'm going to hazard a guess, it was 4,000. And how much was invested at 4%? I'm going to say that I got 3,000. Now, let's see if we're right. We're fantastic. Okay. Let's move on. We're going to need a new piece of paper for this. Two planes. Two planes are traveling toward each other. All right. Oops. No, let's go this way. There we are, because the print is bigger. And I'm going to put this guy to sleep. All right. Two planes. Move this over so we can see. Two planes travel toward each other from cities that are 795 kilometers apart at a rate of 280 kilometers per hour and 250 kilometers per hour. So what do we know? We know that there are two cities. Let's call them City A and City B and they are 795 kilometers apart. We also know that there are two planes. How am I going to do this? Good grief. Two planes. I really need to take our lessons. Flying toward each other from each of these cities, but they're they're not going at equal rates of speed. They do leave at the same time. That's what the last sentence says. It says, they started at the same time in how, it, how many hours will they meet? That means they would have traveled the same amount of time. Okay? So, it's a matter of which plane do we want to be the fastest. Well, I'm just going to pick this because it's first. It's not dollars, it's 280 kilometers per hour. And this is traveling 250 kilometers per hour. Oops, should have said per hour and per hour. All right, now that's important, right? Because this plane is going to go a, a greater distance than this plane. Let's say that this is the distance that plane A went, and this is the distance that plane B went. All right, now what do we know? Well, we know that rate times time equals distance, and we know that they're going to travel an equal amount of time. So we know that this distance right here 
is going to be 280 kilometers per hour times the time traveled. And this distance here is going to be 250 kilometers per hour times the time traveled. And that this distance plus this distance is going to equal 795 miles, period, kilometers, period. So let's add them up. 280t plus 250t equals 795 kilometers. Because this is kilometers, and this is kilometers, and together they both equal that many kilometers. So let's add these together. We're going to have 0, and 8 plus 5 is 13, carry the 1, and four, 2 plus 2 is 4, and 1 is 5. So, what are we being asked here? If they started at the same time, after how many hours will they meet? I don't like the look of that, but we're going to go with it. We're going to be brave. Divide by 530 and divide by 530. Cancel out this 530, and I am going to go over here and let my calculator do the walking. Turn it on, turn it on. I have to do it twice. Silly. All right, I'm going to say 795 divided by 530, and I don't know, let me say enter first. 1.5, one One and a half hours. And it doesn't say that we have to answer with a fraction, so let's try 1.5 down here. Whoop. Let's try it. 1.5. And now let's check our answer. Got it. Okay.